Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh so today in this video I will be explaining you how to make SSDT for your Hackintosh so this is the part 3 of the series of videos that I told you about that I will be making on how to make a DSDT and how to get all the SSDTs from your DSDT. So if you haven't watched the part one in which I told you how to extract the SSDT from your Hackintosh motherboard or from your motherboard using a Windows Hackintosh or a Linux system, then you have to watch that video before this video. But if you have watched this, you have your SSDT extracted, then this is the part two or this is the part three of this video and then you have to follow this so in this video i will be telling you how to make ssdt for your fixing power management or ssdt plug so in this video i will be telling you how to make an ssdt plug for your hackintosh system so ssdt plug is basically what enables the cpu core uh, synchronization or you can say what enables the cpu to properly communicate with the mac os so we will be making SSDT for that it is called SSDT plug which is kind of a power management system for your Hackintosh so let's start with the DSDT I have extracted in the previous video and so this is the DSDT we extracted in the part one of this video and this is part three so now in this video we will be starting to make the so let's start with making the SSDT plug and before we start SSDT plug you need empty SSDT plug a file so I will add this file in the description below. So this file is basically all these command. Let me show you. Let's open the DSDT first and then we have to make a new file and we place this. So this is the SSDT plug DSL. So this SSDT plug DSL is a raw SSDT. It is for uh, right now it's universal. You can use it for a lot of different system but it does not properly work until unless you make it uh, custom for your hackintosh so this is what we start with ssdt plug and then using this dsdt file we will create a custom ssdt plug for your hackintosh to provide it the most optimized and clean aml file to work with and to increase the stability so how do we have to start so the first step is open dsdt press command f and search for the name processor so press enter and here it is so this things come up this whole area so this is basically my let me zoom in this is the processor scope in which our processors are mentioned this is the name of my processor in the dsdt it's pr00 it can be different depending on your system and it can have more than 15 PRs and it can be totally different depending how your system calls. The way my system calls the, my motherboard calls the processor is sp.pr00. So we have to tell our dsdt.aml that this is the name and this is the starting point of our Hack Hackintosh uh, naming scheme. So right now if you open the SSDT plug file you will see that it starts with sb.cpu0 so the cpu name for my specific system is sb underscore cpu z so you might not be able to directly find this using the processor name which is especially you won't be able to find this so you might not be able to find this processor location using just this processor name in other systems like x299 systems or x99 system for such cases what you have to do is basically you have to write so you can start searching for x299 or x99 systems with a name cp00 that can be how the cpu uh, name start or you can search with cpu0 so i will make a specific video on that as well so don't worry about that so this is basically not for x99 and x299 systems it's for the general purpose consumer grade systems for from Intel. So let's start and clean this up. So now we have to do is once you have the scope SP and you have the processor name. Now let's move to our SSDT plug. So here we have to do the trick. Now look at this. You have to find your specific name here. So if you look at what my system name is, it starts with SB and PR00. So I have to first search SB and then I have to search for this matching name. So SB CPU 0, no, this is not the case. SPR CPU 0, not my case. 
if we go down 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 here in this area this is the name of my processor so sb dot r00 pr00 and these the other ones are basically for these one are basically for x29 and systems and these are for the other systems so the other way to find your system uh, cpu naming scheme if you were not able to find your with uh, writing just the processor in the DSTT, you can try writing these in the search bar and these might help you figure out your processor naming scheme so once you know which one is the correct one all you have to do is you have to remove all the other ones so I will delete these I will delete these be careful in deleting uh, the files because a wrong mistake of a wrong uh, deletion can cause the DS not to work properly can cause the SSDT to not per work properly so it's very important that you don't make any mistake in that so once you have deleted this now you have to delete all the if conditions in the file as well so look if condition ref 0 is sp00 which is not our case we have to delete this we go down down have to go down 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 so this one is for our one we delete this and make sure you delete with correct uh, procedure which is deleting right from the start of the file okay otherwise you will be uh, missing some of the brackets and stuff very very annoying error to have in future spp or zero zero and now let's go down 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 so all the way down to yeah starting from 12 okay so we delete this and after this what you have to do is you have to make sure there are five brackets at the end one two three four five five and if you don't have five brackets in the end that my that means you have deleted a wrong bracket and that can cause your error so what you have to do after this is you write ssdt.plug command s to save the dsl and then save as and then select acp and then you have to change the name for your memory for your remembrance or for your for just to make sure that you don't mix up the wrongs so my way is after writing the name of the ssdt i write fixed this makes sure that this one is the fixed one or you can write your motherboard name and stuff okay look i have a syntax error which is good that it came up because this way I can help you write the correct syntax in the video. So where did I get them? Where did I make the mistake? Sun. Okay, I think I've tried to save the AMO. Okay, so there has to be six brackets, not five. Uh, okay, a good thing. So save the AML file. This is the AML file. We have to rename it AML dash. Okay, delete this one. This is the correct. So now we have made the correct SSDT plug file. All you have to do is open the EFI, 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 and then you have to drop this SSDT plug fixed over this one. I already have it, so we'll just replace it with the one I just showed you. Okay, so now we have a working SSDT plug. This is the second part of this SSDT's creation. And this is the third part of SSDT making of. So this is the third part in the series of videos in making SSDTs for your Hackintosh to make it extremely stable, compatible, and a working beast. It also improves the speed. It also improves the performance and do a lot of different issues and do solve a lot of different issues. So making the SSDT plug for your system will improve its CPU performance, CPU stability, CPU power states and so much more. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any question queries, let me know in the comment sections below and I will be covering up these as well. I am also on Patreon. You, uh, you can also like, share and subscribe there. You can contact me there and let me know if you have any questions. So in the very next video, we will be making AVAC versus RTC which is fixing the clocks on the new hardware found from Intel. So this is very important for those who want to run macOS Big Sur. Without this proper clock 
system clock you won't be able to boot into mac os big sir and in the next video we will be making that so let's continue in the next video until then please take care allah hafiz